Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel, Vibing at the Dark underscore with Mo. And if you're new to my channel, how about hit the subscribe button? And if you're a returning subscriber, how about send it to a family or a friend so they can vibe out with us? And please, 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 please make sure y'all like this video. That helps out a lot and thanks in advance. Okay, so as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, we are going to be talking about Cardi B doing her rollout for her and Megan Thee Stallion song, Bungles. And she went live and I want to speak on that and then show you a clip of that. We also going to talk about YK Osiris jipped this girl right here, the legend, out of some money for a haircut. And then he had the nerve to go to somebody else and then brag about paying $1,500. But we're going to get into the details, but first let's get on the Cardi B subject. Okay, so like I said, y'all all know that Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion had their single coming out this Friday called Bungles. I can't wait to hear it because I'm a fan of Cardi B music and I'm a fan of Megan Thee Stallion music. And when they came together and made WAP, you know, it was a hit. So hopefully they can do the same with this one. And like I say, I'm ready to hear it. Y'all let me know if y'all ready to hear it. But anyway, Cardi B went live on her Instagram and she was showing us that she was signing the CD covers, the cases or whatever. And she was also talking about like she just did like a bunch of interviews like she just you know basically went on a whole basically press run for this new song like her rollout for the song which that's all fun and dandy and like I said y'all know I like Cardi B I feel like she's my cousin in my head but with that being said her being my cousin in my head this is some of the reasons why people stay on her she just be having fun and trying to be herself but when you're in the public eye you really can't do all that especially being that she's Cardi B so, I didn't caught the full lob, but I did caught the part where, like I said, she's signing her covers. And then she was like, somebody in the background said, like, the men want sniff and scratch. So, you know a lot of people is about to be talking about this because Cardi B was, like, put, rubbing the CD covers in her chest. She was licking the CD covers. She was putting it in her, you know, cat. She was doing all kind of things like that. So, you know you about to get talked about because... Why you doing that, sis? I know, like, say for instance, like, if somebody, like, I ain't about to say that. I ain't about to say that. But because it's her, her real fans probably going to like it. But she definitely going to get a lot of backlash, I feel like, for doing that. And y'all definitely apologize for sniffing all in the phone. I'm catching a little cold or something. I don't know, allergy season. I'm not sure, but I don't feel like redoing a video. I'm sorry. But... My point is, you you be giving people stuff to talk about, and I think I I I I need you to do better. Like I said, I know she wild ratchet having fun and young. I get it, I do get it. But like I said, this is why some of the people says the things that they have to say about you. But anyway, let me stop talking. Y'all look at the video. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think it's okay? Do y'all think like it was nasty or what do y'all think in general about her doing Something it? That is not. <laughs> <laughs> yes, hold up. Oh. Hold up. But you know, the boys are hoping that the artwork was scratch and sniff. Yeah, oh, scratch and sniff. Here. That's how it is. Y'all want scratch and sniff? Y'all want scratch and sniff videos, bitch? Hold up. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Y'all want scratch and sniff video, bitch? I want a, a sign scratch and sniff video, bitch. This one smells like titties. <laughs> um, this one smells like puss. Pussy, pussy. This one smells like ass cheek. This one smells like breath. <laughs> <laughs> I hope my pussy didn't show. 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 Girl, what? My pink, my booty hole brown, no bitch. My put black and my booty hole. Brown. <laughs> <laughs> These lips is the dark. Anyways, 
<laughs> it's the Afro Latina lip. These lips is Afro Latinas down there. So um so. <laughs> All right, so let me tell you, I'm, right? I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm nervous, I'm excited, I'm nervous, but I, I, I'm, I feel good though. Like this record is, is, is sickening. I don't need no pressure from you. Oh. I really want to talk a little bit more, but I'd rather y'all see the interviews and um. All right, I thought I this. Next batch. Oh, here you go. Freshen up that lip gloss. Okay, 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 all right, you gotta put my weight because you know they wait for me. I don't want. Do you wanna lie? Not both, <laughs> not both of y'all giving away her. Oh, oh, Tokyo said. All right, you know I'm gonna have to get off live because Tokyo said that you can't see the secrets of the meltdowns, bitch. Like, you gotta pay for this, bitch. <laughs> I don't oh. need no pressure. Oh, shit. No, not lick it. Kiss it. Kiss it. Oh, oh, there's lip gloss. Okay. I've been I waiting for oh. that big fat guy. I think I need that back. back. Uh, Let me get it. Can't do it like that. No one else no got it for me like anymore. that. So I, I, I you, yeah. you, you, yeah. Uh -huh. Damn. Sorry. <laughs> Did a nice lip print on it. That is really cute. Okay. I right, mother I got to get this wig on because I'm super late. I've been I've been up for 24 hours. Like let me tell you something. Like, now you cannot outwork me. But let me motherfuckers. You y'all can't outwork me, bitch. Like when I told you I landed, what time I landed yesterday? I landed like a nine o'clock, right? I washed my puss, I yeah, washed my ass and everything. So then um Patience and Marsha made their business to come talk to me. We was up to 4 30 talking. I don't know where Erica. She came in, Erica. she came to do my makeup, Tokyo came to do my hair. And guess what? After that, I kid you not, I did like 20. I did all over America, all over Espanol, all over Chase, like, you know, this is international. I was working today, like, of working, and a, and I'm still working. Like, I still got to do some other shit. Then tomorrow, I gotta, bitch, like, I'm out set at, eh, like, I'm tired, ho. But guess what? I don't give All right, so bye. I'll talk to you later. Y'all, when she thought her private part had shown to everybody in the world, that part was funny. That part really about took me out. But anyway... Y'all see what I was talking about. Y'all let me know what y'all think about her doing all that licking, rubbing, and all that to the CD covers. And we're going to move on to the next topic. Okay, y'all. So this young barber right here went viral because she came to her Instagram live and she was talking about how YK Osiris played her. She did a cut for him and he paid her extra the first time and then he came back for a lineup and she charged him $100, which he did not send her. So she came on live and she was telling her story about it. And then she garnered a lot of attention from more famous people because the shade room actually had posted. So she ended up getting money from like Kevin Gates and other people because, you know, they admired her work because she actually cut hair real good. I went on her page and she, you know, do these. She got these dances and stuff like that on her page, plus her haircuts and stuff. So I'm going to just go ahead and play y'all this clip. On what she had right, to say. I had to have to come to the internet with this, but I guess I got to. Y'all know I cut my first celebrity client, YK Osiris, last week. I charged him one fifty for the cut. The cut went up. He paid me two hundred. He tipped me fifty dollars. No complaints. But he had hit me up to come line him up uh, last Tuesday. I went line him up. I charged him a hundred dollars for the lineup. This hit me with the. All right, I'm gonna cash app you. Instantly, I knew I was like. Hey. I'm like, I don't think he gonna do me like that. It's just a hundred dollars. It's not a hundred k. But in fact, he did. So she takes him the screenshot and she said, it's going to come up like this. He said, okay, bet. Then she said, don't forget about me, big bro. LA right now. I was in Atlanta at the time. So it was three hours. So it was at 10 o'clock. I was like, no, I'm going to give it a few days. Maybe he's super busy. So I gave it a few days, right? Up until yesterday, I got tired. I was like, okay, cool. Let me hit him up and see what's going on because it's been too long. This is what he says. So, like I said, she waited till Tuesday. She said, don't forget about me, big bro. He said, I got you. And so, 
Then she said, what's up? I know you're a busy person. I tried to give it some time, but I was wondering if you could cash at me that hundred you owe me for that lineup I did on Tuesday. He said, yeah, my S was down. Then he said, because I cash up you too much. Hold on. And proceeds to post this video on his story. Hey, look, I'm cash up everybody's birthday this in September. Um, don't ask me why. Bro, I'm like, this can't be real life. Like, this cannot be real life. What's crazy is when I posted the video, I had my, my followers commenting, like, make sure he pay you because you know he like to run off. But I was being so naive. But it's all good because it's never about the money. It's more so about the principle. And God don't like ugly. You reap what you sow, man. Oh, man, y'all better be careful out here. These folks shysty, especially these celebrities, man. <laughs> all right. So then after she posted what she posted, he must be got word of it or he seen the shade room posted it. And this is what he had to say. When you putting Beijing all in my head. Yeah. Like, that's some weird And that's what's up with, that's what's about this world, right? Celebrities, what, so-called, so-called so celebrities. So after he was talking about that trash, he had posted this type of stuff on his story, and she went on his page, and then she screen recorded it, and she reposted it on her stuff. How he basically was feeling himself, he looked like he was liking the haircut, and... It's no problem. So basically, you should have paid her your money because you looking like you vibing out and you you looking sexy. Yeah, yeah, you think you look good. So, where the money at? So then I just so happened to go on his page because I was gonna take some pictures, you know, for this video right here. And I went on his story, and he's still talking about this. So he being funny at this point, and this is what he posted not too long ago. <laughs> Hey. Best customer ever. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> the fuck they talking about, man? Best customer ever. Yeah. <laughs> so before everything went left, she posted, you know, she cut in YK Osiris hair. And she had said, so humble and thankful for YK Osiris being my first celebrity client. This means a lot. Thanks for trusting me. Then after everything went down, she said, I should have left your A looking like this since you want to lie. Then she posted somebody in her DM. She said, he on live now, talking about you right now. She said, screen record. He said, he done calm down now, LOL. Think bro got some mental issues. Laugh my A off. That person said that he paid you $50 extra and that you begged to do promos and hang out with him and be where he at. She said, what? And the other person said, and that he was going to pay you because he takes that seriously. But if he's a celebrity, why he ain't pay you right away like any other client would do? So basically, that person was just telling her what Wild K.O. Osiris was saying on his live. She was like, yo, bro was on the phone with some girl while I was cutting his hair, and she wanted him to take her out. And Ninja said, can we just cook in the crib? LOL, Ninja said anything. Like I said, I never beg a Ninja for nothing, never in my life. Why would I want to hang with you? I heard he go in, on, in the club and don't spend no money anyways. Ninja got me blocked, but talking about me on live, that showed how... What kind of ninja he really is. So the Shay Room posted Kevin Gates in her DMs and it said, I hate that you went through this. Do you have Zell? And she said, this made my whole night. But honestly, after all the blogs posted it, he ended up sending me my money he owed. So you don't have to. The DM alone means much more. I truly appreciate you. He still sent her $200 and he said, what I utter with my mouth, my actions must prove. So that was really nice of him to do that. So Lala DM her and she was like, what's your cash app? She gave her a cash app. And then she also said, but I appreciate you even sending me the message. It means a lot. I've been following you for a while. This made my whole night. And the girl sent her $100 and she said, glad I could do that for you. Congrats on your first celeb. Don't let one ruin it for the others. Keep going. So that was really nice of her too. So I'm sure she got a lot more attention, exposure, and everything from this one bad apple of YK Osiris not paying her what she was owed. Now, I didn't know her before that, but she definitely got a hundred some thousand followers now. So I'm not sure how much she had before. I did see like people was in the comments to say she been was fire, she been was popping. So she probably already had a lot of followers, but I'm I'm sure she had got a lot more after this. 
But anyway, you guys, that's all I have for you in tonight's video. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it in the comment section below about Cardi B and what she was doing. And also about why K.L. Cyrus not paying this girl her money. And I do comment back in the comment section. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye.